again. So, I mean, UFC president is it's a position for the people. It's for you guys. And it's up to you guys to decide if I'm worthy enough or undeserving of this position. Um, it's up to you guys to decide if you, know, you want me to represent you know, the club and what we stand for. I guess we'll start with the basics. Um, I've had leadership experience. You know, I've been a president of a major club in the past. I know what that entails. I know what I have to do. I know what the responsibilities have. I've been placed in front of 14 or 15 of my peers and been forced to, you know, to, to work with different, you know, different personalities, different interests, and you know, I know how to delegate between that. You know, um, I've had to work with administration in the past. I've worked with staff. I've worked with other leaders from different communities and organizations. I have all that experience, and I know some people need to hear that. But, I mean, if I want to represent UFC, if I want to represent us, I think it's important in deciding who best fit this position by looking at my contributions to the club this past year and the year before that. So, I challenge you guys to look back at what I did as a cultural chair. Look at my activities that I put through, look at my, um, you know, discussions and, you know, all the presentations and everything that I've done. Look at that. Look at my various roles in Barrio. Look at Phil Olympics with my broken ankle. <laughs> Look at all the meetings and everything I put my heart and soul to, into for this club in the past year. But most importantly, I think the most important thing is to look at your individual you know, experiences and interactions with me. And ask yourself, I mean, have I affected you in a positive way? You know, am I achieving those goals of being that queer that I was trying to talk about in my last speech? You know, am I deserving of this position? Am I good enough? If I'm not, then, you know, I really wouldn't feel right running for this position and I wouldn't feel right about representing you guys. But if I am, if I'm that person that I strive to be every day for you guys, then I would love the opportunity. I would love your support. I mean, UFC has given me family. I mean, I feel like I owe it to you guys to make the next year the most fun, epic, high, you know, high efficient, but lowly stressful year that we've ever had. I mean, I promise that I'll stop with nothing to do so. And all I need is all you guys' help, you know. You look at our, you know, our, our motto, you know. Um, Isang familia, isang puso, you know, barcada, we're a family. And, you know, to be honest, I mean, I'm just going to be real with you guys. Like, the past three years being, or the past years being um, part of UFC has been probably the best years that I've ever had. And you guys have given me something that, I don't, I, I don't think I can find anywhere else. You know, you guys have given me family. You guys have given me, you know, strength. I've grown so much from being that, you know, that, that shy sophomore that wasn't here freshman year, that didn't know anyone, that was coming in in the middle of everything, and I didn't know anyone, I didn't know how to, you know, participate to being here, running for your president. And, you know, it's just amazing to see how UFC has, you know, made me to be that person. And, you know, it's just crazy to think about what I could be if I was your president. You know, I've grown so much as cultural chair. And, you know, I just want to bring this club to the newer heights, bring new things to it. And it would be all for you guys. It's all because of you guys. Because I love you guys so much. And, you know, I mean, that's pretty much it. I'll just do everything I can for you guys because you guys are my family. And that's what it is. It's the truth. Just being with you guys. You guys are like my family. And I, have, I feel like it's my responsibility to do as much as I can for you guys. So I hope you guys will consider, you know, how much I want this position. And that's pretty much it, you know. So, I mean, if you find it in your hearts, if, like, if I really am the third person um, for this position in your guys' hearts, then by all means, please, vote for me. But if not, then I understand too. Just, you know, I trust that you guys make the best decision for the club. So, there you guys go.
So if any person, anyone in the office is having trouble or any coping, uh, they can search me. And I can try to figure out the problem or the direction of someone who's having problems. Um, I have a lot of resources, but I can't make. But then I have a lot of money, but I can search me. I'm not afraid to ask for help. And in order to maintain group cohesion, we need to change. So just making sure everyone in the office group is really out of trouble game of clubs, whether they need you at home, you know, maintain a relationship with the office and have to go to a new one, and be open to everybody, and then, you know, the collaborative sort of club can try to take advantage of UFC for everything. All right, so, you know, being UFC president, like Erica said, there's going to be a lot of things you don't expect. There's going to be a lot of people that you wouldn't usually work with, um, but I pride myself on, you know, stepping out of my comfort zone and, you know, meeting that new person and trying to get to know, like Michelle said, their strengths, their weaknesses. We, like she said, we have to build community. We need to know where some people are struggling, where some people might have strengths so we can help each other out, you know. And that would be my job. I feel like, you know, I'll, I'd be that person that helps us all bond together, you know. I'm, like I said, we're like, I've really put an emphasis on the family aspect of us. And as long as we're all together, you know, <laughs> there's no limit to what we could do. So as long as we have that strong core, you know, people will pick up on that. You know, it's contagious. Like, look at us. We have a strong officer group this year. And, you know, the whole club is, is like a family, you know, just because of that. So leading by example, being versatile, rolling with the punches, you know, just, you know, exactly. Just being versatile and, you know, just being ready for everything and anything. You know, just being prepared. I think that's the most important thing. But, yeah, Michelle pretty much covered it with the strong, you know, core group. So, I agree. so that's a good question. Um, I feel like this administration that we have right now is really strong. I mean, what I was talking to Erica and Dan about this earlier. Like, there's the quote that sticks out in my mind so much from this year, and it's, "We stand tall on the backs of the ones that came before us." And you know, I will learn from their, you know, their um, their example, but put my own twist on things. One thing in particular that really, I guess, one bothers me is I remember the first general meeting that we had here and the room was absolutely packed, right? And you know, one thing that, you know, that I would want to use my, uh, my strengths to is going out into the community and just being like, quite first questioning why everyone, you know, got from that, you know, that full room to this loyal group of people right here, you know what I'm saying? And that's one of the things that just been bothering me. Why, why do we, why is that uh, decline happening? You know, and I think I'll make it a point, you know, using my strength, going out in the community, being that approachable person, being that people person that loves being around people, being that guy that likes to talk, that, the guy that likes to, you know, just mingle, and just, you know, bringing them back and see if that will make a di difference in, you know, just, I guess, just changing the way that we uh, portray ourselves and just, you know, just trying, I think, yeah, like I said, just being, trying to keep the members coming, you know, maybe through, you know, just like, you know, mingling and talking to people, or maybe for offering, um, like, you know, ways to participate besides meetings, you know? I think we need to put more emphasis on things outside of meetings to people that don't, can't make it to the meetings. So, I don't know, that's one of my, that's one of my biggest goals, is just, you know, just being uh, the, you know, the spirited and, you know, prideful, per like, you know, person that I am, and using those tools to, you know, help people know about what UFC is all about, keep our membership, you know, members, you know, around. Because the bigger the family, you know, the more fun we all have. Basically, mean like getting, keeping interest. In like exactly. The That's one of the, yeah. Game. And growing, you know. Just, yeah, growing our interest, too. As far as the club goes, a whole, um, right now, I'm going to say about value you guys to the Office Group of 2010, 2011. Um, you guys did an awesome job, and there's always something to improve on, and I've heard stories from good things, bad things, I don't want to say necessarily, but as far as the club as a whole, I want to work on professional development. Um, a lot of you don't know that networking and you know, getting into just alumni and you know, the different people in the club is also, you know, just expand your net, really, to serve the 
things for me are growth and pride um, you know the only way we can improve is through growth and that's you know growing that could be mean a lot of things that could be growth um, in numbers for our club that could be growth in you know a better you know a stronger bond between our, our officers and our members so I mean just growing and fostering you know like taking the momentum that we've we have and just rolling with it and keep keep it going seeing what we do right and um, you know just doing that and putting our own twist on it and keep it going you know, just growing from where we are to where we, we you know, where our vision is. And, um, and I'll, I'll also say, also say pride too, because, you know, culture is a big thing for me. Cultural chair, I was a cultural chair last year, or this past year, and, you know, we are United Filipino Club. We should be proud of our culture. We should be proud of our barcada. We should be proud of who we are as people. And I think those are my, you know, I mean, among a lot of other things, I think those are the two that stand out to me. So... You know, yeah, yeah, so growth and um, growth and pride, yeah. Working more with the culture of community outside in Seattle. I feel like, as a club right now, we're in the social community center, and I know it because um, there was some, there's some wrong with that or whatever. I don't really want to wish that, but. I feel like we need to work more with the whole community, more with just reaching out and helping, you know, the whole community and the community more, and being a friend to everyone. I feel like there's a lot of, um, like, we've been a problem for that community, but as a club, we are a little bit. And so I want us to reach out and be a friend to all. Um, and I want to see on the you know, best club on campus, one who's most willing to help out, the one who's gonna be there for anyone who needs it, never needs our help to come. And I also want to still affect the, the, what do you want to do in the future? You know, there's, there's more to life after college. You know, there's more to life after the CIA, you know, the other side. So what do you want to do? And how can you guys help you about what you might do after you graduate? Or how can we help you figure out what you love, what's your passion, and what's going to get you up every morning to say, hey, this is what I want to do, this is my goal, and this is why I want to be open to the moment. Are they, 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 are